Right. This is why I like artificial. Look at the size of this ass. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I want to do it by hand. Though. You want to do it by hand. Really? Hello? Amy? What? Arowanas are slender and extremely bony fish that are covered by these large scales. There's different species of arowana that come in different colors, ranging all the way from silver to blue and red colors. Their bodies are slender and flat, and they have large mouths that kind of aim upwards. The shape of their mouth allows them to pop out of the water and breathe oxygen, and it also allows them to catch prey that are above the water. Arowanas are ambush predator fish. These fish are not very picky eaters. They'll pretty much eat anything that'll fit in their mouths. They'll eat insects, small crustaceans, fish, and they've even been found with like bats and snakes inside their bellies. They'll even bite your fingers if you put them close enough to the water, as I'll show you here in a minute. What's up guys welcome back to another episode of ceo fishing thank you for clicking on the link to check out my video in today's episode i'm over here at summerlin fish farm down in homestead florida and i'm hanging out with monster mike and jacob fetter i just wanted to highlight these arowanas to show you what cool fish these things really are and i actually convinced mike to dip his finger in the water and you can guess what happens next hey boss um what are these baits called those are oh man you did <laughs> oh, oh glass minnow <laughs> <laughs> the silver sides you threw me there like all of a sudden I was great. Oh. <laughs> hey, don't worry. I'm going to edit that out so people know, yeah. think you know what you're yeah, talking about. Right? God, you got to make me look like I know something. Low key, so I'm, I'm going to keep it in there. Yeah, so what is it? They're silver sides. What yeah. they don't realize is a lot of people would just do like tilapia fillets. Mm -hmm. And what your fish is not getting is they actually need the bones in the fish because they need the calcium. So if you're just doing fillets of fish, they're not getting the proper calcium they need to grow big and be oh. strong and, and look not deformed because they're not getting the right amount of calcium you know what i call that keeping it real keeping it real keeping it real <laughs> hey go over here over here right there oh he did it Woo! i can breathe <sighs> it's funny because mike's feet dangle when he's trying to feed like that yeah, yeah, sure. I'm like this. <laughs> mike's dangling over are these Chinese fish? Because it looks like it wanted to eat the dog. That one not so good. Oh, nah, for you're real? Good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> no, why, you gotta, why you gotta scare him, man? No, but look at the two sharp things underneath his lip. Yo. Here's the thing, if it's above the water, they're gonna jump up and, and snatch it. Well, if it's in the water, one? he's gonna turn and like just gulp it. I'd rather the jump, right? Oh! <laughs> yeah, he got. Yeah, he yeah he scraped me. Do it again. That's yeah, but my hand already hurt. Dude, just, it, then it's already hurt. It won't Look. make a difference. <laughs> Use your mouth. <laughs> All right. Use your mouth, Mike. <laughs> yeah. Hell no, I'm using my mouth. <laughs> I'm already ugly. Yeah, now nah, I'm not gonna do it, Brian, because I'm afraid that they're gonna bite my face. They they're pretty aggressive. See? Look how gentle that was. That was fun as hell. Mike was actually terrified to uh, to mess with the fish like that. And it actually got him. So uh, it was definitely worth having him do it. But you know what? This is a fishing channel, not just a pond channel. So let's get into a little fishing. A little while back, we had a company send us these bobbers. They're uh, beer bottle bobbers, uh, bush beer. And I caught myself a nice largemouth bass. So check it out and enjoy the footage. And Brian is on. Brian with the bobber. Oh, that's a 10 pound bass. Big large mouth off the, off the bush. Oh, that's a big large mouth. That is a, oh, oh my gosh, guys, don't blink. Look at the size of this bass. Look at the size of this bass on the bush light bobber, baby. Oh my gosh. That is a big bass. 
lift it? That is a big bat. All right, lift it slow. Oh, I don't know. Wait. Right, let's go down there, bro. Let's go down. That's a big, guys. Comment below, big bass, and we're gonna heart your comment. This is viral. This on is viral. On the bobber, guys. This is insane. This is insane. Woo! So we gotta walk down because this bass is like bigger than five pounds. This, he's big. Large mouth bass on the bobber on the bush bobber. Comment below, bush light. I mean, not bush light, but uh, get him. Fish on, baby. Fish on. Comment below. Fish on. Bro, that's a big one. Oh, 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 bro, 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 yo, 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 look, look at the size of this bass. Yeah. Yeah. Good catch. Bro, yeah, in the golf course. Yeah, can, hey, give us a cheer. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Bro. Nice. Bro, this is sick. Hey. Show him what the hey. oh, what the guys hey. what he's been eating the wrong uh bass is this is this guys on the bobber on the bobber fish on baby you caught the actual bass on that's the picture. <laughs> on the picture all right so notice keep out of lake no swimming no boating no radio controlled device it doesn't say anything about no fishing it does not say no fishing uh, let's say, do not approach or feed any wildlife. Is that a crocodile or an alligator? I think it's a gecko. All right, Mike. Uh, ah. It's a battle. It's going to be a battle. It's going to be a battle today. So I guess you guys, you want to cast out at the same time? Yeah, we could. All right. You want to count down? Yep. Three, two, one. Bing, bing, bing. Oh, cross lines. That's what Carlos does. That, that's the way to start it off. I did that in honor of Carlos being here helping us. Yep. All right, guys. So he's using the artificial. I'm using the live bait. Let's see who gets tight first. Yeah. You know? Now here, here's the difference is because he's using live bait, he can just let it sit out there swimming. I got to cast it and retrieve it over and over again. I can't just let it sit out there. So he has to do a little bit more work, but the action is going to be a little bit different. I'm just trying to win. I'm just trying to hook set on some fish. Yeah. And cast it over here by the bushes. This does swim nice. What are you using? The Kestrel Elite 1000? Little Kestrel Elite 1000 from Cas King. I love the sound of their drag when you. Ooh. Yeah, these that are does exclusive. Sound good. Cas King. You can um, check them out. CasKing.com. Yeah, we got a promo code uh, in the description below. So you want to help us make money? Oh, bro, I think I Woo! had one. I don't, I'm not sure. You saw that hook I set? saw that hook set. Bro, I I I saw, but I didn't see a fish. I just saw a hook. It took me. Yeah, it took you. Look, it sucked it off the vector hook. Vector hooks, get yours today. Vector, vector hooks. I don't know if that's good advertising for them. Oh, yeah, you're right. It sucked yeah. it right off. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> So we'll skip straight to, I'm using the uh, Cast King, the MG12. Beautiful, beautiful setup right here, Um, in my humble opinion. Uh, carbon fiber. It is, it is. It's carbon fiber. Um, the, the frame is, uh, a magnesium alloy, so it makes it super lightweight. It's 4.8 ounces and it's still, the thing still has 15.4 uh, pounds of drag. So I can catch a big fish, you know, it's in between a finesse and just a regular setup. Super ultra smooth too. Little, 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 little lure, but it's going all the way out there just like that. And I got 15 pound line on it. So, you know, what happened? You There's see some fish? fish right here, my boy. <laughs> let's see. Look, let's see if they want your artificial or my live bait first. Come here. All right, I'm coming. It's a challenge. I'm coming. So, so look, let's tell them on the count of three. Let's see. Live uh, bait. I, 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 wait, hold on, hold on. Let me get this out here. Okay, ready? All right, guys. I got the live bait. Brian got the artificial. artificial. Let's see which one the fish likes. Ready, set, go. There's like three or four peacocks and a couple of large mouths right over here by this rock. Oh no, we're gonna we're gonna rub it in on them. Like that. Oh, like oh, that. Oh, oh, oh. It's one nothing. Ooh, he's fighting. Ooh, he is strong too. I'm not even trying to turn the rod because they will jump and uh, spit you and on. Hook real quick, baby. I don't want to drag him on the grass, but my knee is messed up, so 
I Are you kidding me, Brian? That is a nice Brian, page. Brian, while Michael. I was getting my bait. Michael. Brian. Look, this is why I like artificial. Oh, because man. Because I can just keep casting. I get smacked, but I, I can keep casting. But I thought live bait was going to be better, man. It's the sauce, but this is saucy too. There you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. You know, we went from feeding arowanas to arowanas attacking Mike's hand to catching some largemouth bass to catching some peacock bass. So, again, if you enjoy this type of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell right now. And as many of you know or may not know, my wife is pregnant. We're expecting our first baby together. And, you know, we're a little older, so it's a very high risk. So if you can keep us in your thoughts and prayers, you know, I greatly appreciate it. And uh, that's it, man. Until next time, guys, keep your head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. Zzz.